And now, 2K Sports break you Thursday night in the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. The Clippers' new arena in Inglewood is opening soon, and NBA legend Jerry West said the new home will, quote, allow a fairer schedule that's not as taxing on the players, but most importantly, it's for the fans. Brian, he says it'll be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to experience it firsthand, Allie. Thank you. And Doris, both of these teams prefer to operate at a slower pace. It's more about half-court offense than getting out in transition. Which means necessarily, B.A., that the winner tonight is likely going to have to execute at a high level. That means, is your spacing good? Do you have the appropriate motion? Are you setting quality screens? How effective can you be generating good shots in the half-court? Now let's take a look at the Kings' opening lineup. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. And for the Clippers, Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. Reggie Jackson out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Coffee in at the three. Morris outside. Six to shoot. Driving in. The rebound by Murray. Pass to Barnes. And here's Fox. Sabonis, left side. It's Barnes on the wing. Sinks that one from the post. Boy, you really have to like that recognition by Barnes. Knew that was his play to make. Here's Mann. Back to Jackson. About a minute played here so far in the first. Morris outside. Over Murray. A oh, nice shot Marcus by Morris. Morris. Well, we know this about Marcus Morris. If you give him an opportunity, regardless if it's inside or outside the arc, he's going to take it. Fox against Jackson. Fox outside. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. Barnes. The Clippers grab the miss. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Rejected by Sabonis. Improving on the defensive end as well. DeMontis Sabonis getting tenacious there with the block shot. Barnes, no good. The Clippers have gone one for three so far. The 2021-22 season felt like a lost one for the Clippers. Kawhi and Paul George both hurt. So true. I mean, but B.A., those two together, healthy, are scary. A finals-level duo. It kind of shows you how you can plan, build an awesome roster, but injuries can derail it all. So bonus against Zubats. Here's Herter. The shot is good Kevin on the Herter. assist by Sabonis. Yeah, just a tremendous find by Domantas Sabonis. This guy plays the game the right way. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. Possession and a moment to check out the 2K leaderboard. Here were the best rebounders last season. In the third spot, Demonis Sabonis. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. Sacramento has gone one of two from three-point land so far. Outside Barnes. Back to Fox. Ooh, good finish at the rack off a slick feed. Can't lose sight of Fox or allow him to feel comfortable looking to score this close. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Back to Jackson from the arc. No good. So the Kings will take it the other way. Their last encounter in Sacramento. Last time they lost a close one against this team. You have to wonder what they could have done if it wasn't for their foul trouble in that game. Yeah, some of their starters had to take an early seat on the bench, and that ruined the rhythm and flow they were trying to establish. 
Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And he comes up with a bucket. That's a little bit about balance and concentration. Jackson absorbs the contact and makes the shot anyway. Back to Fox. Sabonis outside. Pass to Herter from behind the arc. Offensive rebound, Kings. Got a hand on it. Jackson against Fox. Oh, a clear oh, foul there on minutes. the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on De'Aaron Fox. You've got to be careful and on point with Reggie Jackson as a defender because he is so good at drawing that contact and making you put him at the foul line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. And so Jackson nails both of them. Reggie Jackson, one of those guys who does a little bit of everything. Can score it, can be a setup guy, can play the one, can play the two. You love his versatility. Shot is up. Herder can't hit. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Man misses. The Kings leading. Outside Murray. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Murray can score in a multitude of ways, Grant. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. I mean, he can feast from the post, the mid-range, and the three-point line as well. He always plays under control at his own pace, and that's why he looks so fluid out there on the floor. one falls for him and their number four overall pick Keegan Murray making a quick impact one of the most efficient players in college basketball at Iowa last year he went on to win MVP of the 2k 23 summer league can he become a rising star for the Kings it'll be fun to watch and Murray drops them both Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league. But boy, have times changed. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. Pass to Zubats. Back to Coffee. Over Barnes. Coffee can't get it to go. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers, it started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. Here's Mann. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Jackson against Sabonis. Outside Herder from the high post. The Clippers grab the miss. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Back to Sabonis. And that's good. His first line of the game. Well, the instinct takes over. Sabonis gets up the floor ready to finish the play. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And guess what, guys? I mean, one of the ways the Aaron Fox had improved his skills growing up was playing 2K, learning the NBA game on 2K. I love it. Let's make some noise. The Clippers trail. Pass to man. 
Here's Coffee. Jackson on the wing. Will it go? Knocks it down from distance. Jackson's got seven. And De'Aaron, playing 2K growing up, his dad encouraged him to observe. Take note. Good advice. I mean, De'Aaron learned a lot about things like ball screens, pick and roll from playing video games, stuff like that. I mean, Fox used 2K as a way to study the game of basketball. An <laughs> excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Pass to man. Back to Jackson. Clock at six. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And grant a career resurgence for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, B.A., after dealing with injuries, even at one point considering walking away from the game, he's found renewed success. And he's shown he's got plenty left in the break. tank. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so Jackson nails both of them. Yeah, the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline. A deal centered around DeMontis Sabonis going to Sacramento and Tyrese Halliburton sent to Indy. Outside Herder. Back to Fox. Banked it in off the glass. Fox has got his second basket of the night. That blockbuster Sabonis Halliburton trade. What do you make of it for the Kings? Well, you know, B.A., Sacramento was a guard-heavy team. Sabonis adds size. He also adds playmaking, and I love his motor. I think it was a move to even out their roster. Sacramento has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Herder. And the Kings with another three. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. Back to man. Morris outside. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Here's Mann, Herder defending. That one's good for two. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Now a timeout by Sacramento. And Doris, the league has taken a much more active role in player development in the U.S. and abroad. Why now? But I think, B.A., what's great is it's not just player development. It's growth in the game of basketball. It's interest worldwide. I think the league's resources have obviously grown and it is trying to make investments back into the basketball game. A true minor league, international academies. It's a beautiful thing. If you love hoops, this is great. Akpala, he's checked in for the Kings. Monk comes in for Herter. Pass to Fox. Here's Akpala. Sinks it from King distance. King and the Kings lead by 12. Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Jackson with it. Back to Wall. Pulls up. Goes back up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First They'll pin foul. that one on Harrison Barnes. Well, that was clearly a foul. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Kings. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have Take been break. thus far. Take a break. Yeah, and in Three addition, shots. their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. That one's off. And seems hard to believe. 
but it's been almost 40 years since the Kings moved to Sacramento. And you know, maybe they haven't hung any banners, but they've had some special players and some great seasons in that time, and they mean a lot to that community. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sacramento. Davis comes in for Barnes. He hits the second from the line. Last year, the Clippers finishing eighth in the West. However, they missed the playoffs, Doris. Right, B.A., but keep in mind, they didn't have Kawhi for the entire season. No Paul George for most of the season. In fact, I thought Ty Lue did an incredible coaching job getting that team to the eighth spot. They just went on to lose two tough games in the play-in tournament. And there's Holmes the on the assist by Fox. Assist. And this defense needs the to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Jackson on the wing. Pass to Batum. The three is up. And Holmes pulls it down. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Los Angeles has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start, and that one's good. Covington. Let's remember, Robert Covington is a guy who has hit over 200 three-point shots in the season. You better guard him from out there. Back to Fox. From deep. He can't get that one to fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Jackson. Second chance shot. No good. A bit long that time. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their foul cause. Score. And a foul call well, on the way up. So he'll take first, two first from the free throw line. Second team foul. Shooting for Sacramento, Terrence Davis. Shooting two. off on the first good on the second one now wall 26 points for him, last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Pass to Monk. We've got 113 left in the first quarter here. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Here's Wall, knocks it loose, Brown, and the deficit down inside single digits. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Fox against Wall, here's Akpala. Yes, and a nice assist from Fox. Three-pointer. Fox has got five assists tonight. And they've got the D reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Back to Wall. Five on the clock. Here's Covington. Rebounded by Fox. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Pass to Akpala. Goes up at the elbow. Here's Holmes. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And so it's the Sacramento Kings up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. Come on and get loud right now, fam. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen the Kings really take control here. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. 
Sacramento has gone six of nine from three-point range. On the court for the Kings, second quarter underway. Murray out there with Rashawn Holmes. Then there's Barnes, then it's Davion Mitchell, and it's Herter in a shooting guard. And that's a foul called on Rashawn Holmes. That's his first foul of the game. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. And for the Clippers, they're shooting just around 26% for the game. Outside wall. Pass to Zubac. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from Holmes. Here's Sacramento now. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Back to Mitchell. Now Barnes. Down low. Here's Herter. Sinks his third bucket. He's three for six now. Yeah, not just a finisher now. Barnes always willing to make the extra pass. Pass to man. Here's Coffey. Shoots over Barnes. And that one hits the back iron. The Kings shooting an efficient 57% tonight. You know, back in 2010, Harrison Barnes was the top recruit in the country on a high school grade. Yeah, and interestingly, Barnes decided to play two seasons at North Carolina. Unheard of these days for someone with Harrison's pedigree. Mitchell against Wall. Pass to man. Shot clock at six. Here's Coffey. The three is up. Sinks the tray. Coffey's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. The three from Barnes. Rebound by the Clippers. Outside wall. Pass to Coffey. Here's Mann. Takes a three. The rebound by Murray. Mitchell with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Fires from the wing. Again, the miss by the Kings. Well, let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. Coffee can't get it to go. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Murray, no good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Mitchell against Wall. Now here's Mitchell. Defense right on him. Mitchell against Wall. Pass to Coffey. That shot, no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Here's Herter. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Herter's got 11. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Kings made a big trade last season to acquire all-star DeMontis Sabonis. It's clear they want a break from their lead long playoff drought, and they're hoping he can help them do it. He said, well, it's exciting. I want to be here. We're going to fight and get wins. Back to you. Well, they're all in, Ali. Thank you. Outside wall. Pass to Coffee. Here's Mann. Herder defending. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second person. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, EA. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. And he drops the first. So he gets them both. And here's Mitchell. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Murray. Outside Herter. They kick it out to Murray. Hits the trifecta. Murray. Murray's got eight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Outside Wall. Here's Coffey. And again, it's the Clippers missing. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. It's blocked. Oh, that seven-foot wingspan oh, and the versatility of Nick Batum send it back. Outside Barnes. Murray against Batum. Murray passes to Herter. Just five on the clock. It's rebounded by Zubox. Zubox has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Mann. Pass to Coffey. It's stolen by Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. And that's the thing about Barnes. He doesn't always look like he's moving fast, but very few guys seem to catch him. Here's Coffey. Here's Mann. From outside, off the mark. Sacramento has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Pass to Barnes. Back to Mitchell. And there's the foul. It's on Ivica Zubats. That's his first foul. First Sabonis, he's foul. checked in for the Kings. Akpala comes in for Murray. In for the Kings. Dumatis Sabonis. KZ Akpala. Clippers on D. Trailing by 17. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis. Great D that time from Zubats. Los Angeles has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Sacramento shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Shot from 12. Mitchell, good. Mitchell. And the Kings lead by 19. He's showing a lot of confidence in his ball handle. Going to the crossover to free himself up. Ooh, I love it. Back to Wall. Here's the floater. And it's good on the layup. Wall's got his first two points of the night. Uh, that teardrop, right? Such a valuable tool for point guards. Able to get it off in the lane was John Wall. Outside Mitchell. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Nick Batum. Second team foul. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell, Mitchell entered the league as one of the At best the on the two. ball defenders out there. And that one misses. 
And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing, Davion never takes a possession off. And he's good on the second. Here's Wall. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. To the left side wing. Here's the three. Pure from three-point range. John Wall. Wall's got five points now this quarter. Looks like he's getting warmed up. Much better efficiency here in the second quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis. Here's Akpala, guarded by Batum. And the foul called on Nick Batum. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? For the Clippers, Morris, he's checked in for Batum. And it's Jackson in for Coffey. Outside Herter. There's the triple. Drops in the three. Herter's got 14 points for the game. And they're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Jackson finds Zubats. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Barnes. Pass to Jackson. Launches a three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Well, the ability to catch and shoot. The rise and fire from Reggie Jackson on point. Mitchell, the pass to Barnes. Wall against Mitchell. Now here's Herter. He's closely guarded. Six on the shot clock. Sends it home Harrison from three-point land. Three-pointer. Ten points for him. If the improvement in Barnes's deep range just helps his offense space the floor. Wall against Mitchell. Shoots. Wall no good. The Kings have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Right side Barnes. Outside Mitchell. Here's Sabonis. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Personal foul. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Shocker of the 2022 trade Demonis deadline. Demonis Sabonis Shooting going to the one. Kings. Big time surprise. Tyrese Halliburton going the other way to Indy. Now, I like that deal for both sides. Sacramento adding an all-star big. The Kings needing some size. Sabonis adds that. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Mitchell. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Team's boy, ball. oh boy, how times have changed. And your last year in the First league, the 12-13 season, you Second played for the ball. Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won shots. the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That oh, year was big break. in the turnaround for L.A. Two shots. First one falls. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Brown, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Covington comes in for Wall. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Pass to Akpala, and looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. The Clippers call timeout. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Outside, Brown. 
Back to man. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Now here's Fox. He had 19 points in the win against Indiana. Shoots over Jackson. Well, the jumper's good from inside six feet. Fox has got six points. There's some contact there, but Fox just refuses to let that hold him back. Pass to man. Sabonis against Brown with a nine-footer, and that's good for two. Five points in the game. This is what you're looking for on offense. Take advantage of the big man you have. Get him an easy look at the rim. Outside Herder. Here's Akpala, guarded by Morris. Here's Akpala. Six points for him. Here's Fox. It doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. The drive by man. And he jams it home with authority. And he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. Outside Monk. Pass to Sabonis. 114 left to play in the first half. Rejected by Brown. Outside Covington. Now here's Jackson. And the Clippers hit again from deep. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Outside Herder. Fox against Jackson. Sabonis outside. Back to Fox. Let's the three fly. The Clippers grab the miss. Brown's got four rebounds in the game. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out front. Outside Covington. Here's Mann. Seven points in the game. Over Sabonis. Mann misses. Here's Akpala. Over Morris. Boy, how about the hustle from Marcus Morris? Getting into the space of the shooter. That's nice. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Kings on top. They lead by 14. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It's Sacramento with the advantage at the half. They lead by 14. Kenny, how'd you see it? And the game plan they went with was very good. It was center around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the score. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers. When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. This organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Man, let's give a big LA and as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Man, have we seen Reggie Jackson really have a great game? He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. I have to love his tenacity. This guy stays in attack mode, makes defenders work, tries to keep them off balance. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. Terrence Mann is out there with Jackson. 
And it's coffee in at the three. Small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. Everything Fox does is so fast. Makes him very difficult to guard without foul. for Sacramento, De'Aaron Fox. Two shots. And he makes a first. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Jackson against Fox. Here's Mann. Pass to Coffey. Shoots over Barnes. Coffey can't get it to go. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has got 12. That takes a nice controlled handle and then the confident finish. Harrison Barnes looking really good right now. Morris with it, defended by Murray. Shoots a fadeaway. Morris can't hit. Well, Sacramento is shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Here's Fox. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 10. A slick move by Fox inside, finding a way to beat the interior coverage. Pass to Jackson. Here's Mann. Herder defending. Zubats with it. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. He beats a Zubats at the line for two. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Murray passes to Fox. And here's Barnes. Here's Murray. That's it. Murray. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists in the game. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Mann. Herder defending. Back to Jackson. There's the three. And the foul, foul on Marcus quick. Morris. Marcus That's Morris his first senior. foul. And we first have to take another foul. look at that block. First yeah, I love foul. that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. The Kings have gone three of three in the second half. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox is a competitor. He said, I want to win. I know there's more that I can do. Just trying to create a spark, some type of energy. You can talk about what you did in high school and college, but you have to take it to a totally different level if you want to be one of those guys in the league. Brian? Kevin Allie, Hurt. thank you. Making plays at both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Here's Morris. Perfect pass Marcus to set up the lay-in. I'll tell you, you have to take pride in finishing through contact. You get the sense Marcus Morris relishes that chance. Something you can't deny about Marcus Morris. He is a passionate player. On and off the court, this guy is highly competitive. He's a leader in the locker room. His playing style, to me, would fit with any organization. Smart and tough. 
Here's Fox. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Zubats. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Here's Coffey. He's covered by Fox. And the basket by Coffey. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. Jackson against Fox. Left side herder. Takes a 13-footer. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Herder's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Pass to man. Here's Coffee. He's guarded by Barnes. Here's Coffee. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second foul. Second team foul. At the line for LA, Amir Coffee to the line. Two shots. First free throw is good. So he hits one of two from the stripe. The Kings have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Herder gets the bucket. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And the Clippers call time here. Kevin Herder really making a difference here. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. Jackson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Pass to Barnes. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Barnes has got four points in the quarter. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Back to Jackson. Here's Coffee. He can't hit that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Here's Murray. And he's going foul to the line for two. The official Jared saw Smith. contact while he was going Second up. Personal foul. Good man, the foul. defender really went after him. At the line for the Kings. Murray, shooting two. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Murray drops them both. Now Jackson. 15 points in the game. Pass to Coffey. Back to Jackson. Back to Coffey. Just five to shoot. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Fox 
Knights with the ball. Ten points for him. Back to Herder. The three ball. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number eight now on the night. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Coffey, defended by Murray. Here's Mann, pass to Zubats. The Clippers got a hurry, late clock here. And the basket by Coffey. Sacramento has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Here's Fox. Second shot opportunity. And that's two points on the layup. Fox has got six in the quarter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Pass to Coffey. Back to Jackson. To the paint. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Third team five. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. The free throw drops from Zubats. And Zubats drops them both. And the Kings shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. Back to Fox. Pass to Murray. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Here's Coffee. Give him eight points now. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Now here's Fox. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Morris. Here's Mann, inside. Shot's blocked! Out and it's out of bounds to the Clippers Remain as the Clippers away. retain possession. Ball, he's checked in for Mann. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings. Davis comes in for Murray. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Jackson outside. Pass to Wall. 4-3. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Wall's got his third basket of the night. That's just heads up basketball, and Jackson scanning the floor, spots the ready shooter. Nicely done. And here's Davis. Kept alive. Barnes. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second if they keep hitting foul. free throws at this clip, Third it'll help foul. them seal the deal. Shooting for Sacramento, Harrison Barnes. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. A really solid free throw shooter. The team would like to see Barnes get to that line more often. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Barnes. And here's Wall. Give him eight points now. Pass to Coffey. Now Morris. He's guarded by Barnes. Morris against Fox. Six to shoot. Back to Coffey. Shoots over Davis. And the basket by Coffey. Coffey's got ten. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Here's Herter. That's in there. Kevin Davis Herter. with the assist. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Jackson outside. Wall, the pass to Zubat. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has seven. Sacramento has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Davis finds Barnes. Here's Fox. Now here's Herter. And he's got 28 now. Right side Barnes. Another shot. And Holmes with the lay-in. Good. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. Herter against Jackson. Pass to Coffey. Let's go with a three. And they get it back. Here's Morris. The shot that time, not on target. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Outside Davis. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Jackson on the wing. Herder defending. Jackson gets the bucket. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Fox the pass to Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Obviously, Fox has good on-ball instincts. He finds a wide-open guy and quickly feeds him. Pass to Coffey. Now here's Morris. He's guarded by Barnes. Morris down low, working on Barnes. Oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris has got six. Well, this guy's a capable scorer from the interior. Marcus Morris adept timeout, at timeout. using that size and touch to his advantage. Timeout called, Sacramento. It's teacher time, man. For the Clippers, Batum comes in for Zubats. And Covington subbed in for Morris. Akpala, he's checked in for the Kings. Monk comes in for Herter. A minute 29 left in the third. Pass to Monk. Here's Akpala, covered by Covington. Holmes with it. Monk for three. Clock at six. Batum pulls it in. Now here's Wall. Jackson on the wing. 103 left in the third. And he'll throw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Blake Monk picks one up. The officials were right on top of that. At the line for LA, Reggie Jackson at the strike. At the line for two. First one falls. Second free throw, no good. Sacramento has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter.
Who poked away. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Covington. Here's Fox. 12 points for him. Again, the miss by the Kings. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Wall. Let's it fly. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Wall's got 10. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Back to Fox. Here's Akpala. On the wing, Davis. L.A. foul. Nicholas Batum. That's his third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Terrence Davis. At the line for two. Shooting two. No good on that one. And the second free throw is good. Now Wall, Jackson outside. Three seconds left, and the Clippers Reggie again with a bucket. Jackson. Reggie Jackson, because he caught his rhythm, folks, he's just got his foot on the gas pedal. Defense better figure this out quick. And so it's Sacramento with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have... This. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Sacramento. We've got Mitchell, Murray out there with Davis. Then it's Rashawn Holmes, and it's Herter in at the shooting guard position. Here's Mann, shot clock at six. Tipped away. Now the Kings in transition. Murray with it, guarded by Batum. Foul quarter. Nicholas Batum. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. And he knocks down the first one. Drops them both. Los Angeles has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Jackson against Turner. Jackson, the pass to Covington. And stolen by Murray. Now the Kings in transition. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Man's got four rebounds now. 
Out to the right wing. The three drains the triple. Batum's got himself on the board with a three there. So good at so quickly analyzing and getting through his progressions. Nick Batum gets it off before the defender can react. Back to Herter. For three. Offensive rebound, Kings. Murray, shot is good. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Pass to man. Fires the three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. They've come into the second half with renewed focus at the offensive end, putting in a big effort. Herter passes to Murray. Unable to get that one. And the Clippers will come the other way. To the middle. Mitchell against Wall. Count that one. He's now Wall, five for eight. After a poor offensive first half, some nice adjustments made by this staff, and their shooting percentage is climbing. Herter passes to Murray. And here's Davis. Offline with a three. Trying to close out. You gotta know who's hot and who's not. The kick out to Wall. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Jackson down low. Herder defending. Jackson gets the bucket. And it really took a while, but they've started to find their form. And this run's making the deficit look a little bit more respectable. Pass to Davis. Murray with it. Covered by Covington. Davis with it. Five to shoot. Counted from distance. Terrence Davis. And the Kings lead by 20. You have to show more effort defensively. Everyone knows he can do that from deep. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Batum in the post. Holmes is on him. Batum gets the bucket. Well, crossing up the defense right there. Then Batum gets to the mid-range and says, you want to concede it, I'm taking it. Mitchell, the pass to Davis. Back to Mitchell. Up top, Holmes. Guarded by Batum. His man drives to the hoop. Excellent D there from Davis. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. Oh, man, that's tough. You just never like to see this in sports. No, obviously something that you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. So for the Clippers, Zubats, he's checked in for Batum. Morris comes in for Covington, and it's Coffee in for Man. for Sacramento, Rashawn Holmes. One shot. Free throw, good from Holmes. On the wing, Mitchell. Wall covering. Herter can't hit. Los Angeles has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Outside wall. Jackson for three. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got three assists now in this one. Sacramento has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Herter. Murray against Morris. And here's Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Here's Herger. Again, the miss by the Kings. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Jackson. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First we know foul. Reggie Jackson has the first quickness to get inside and the toughness to and make a play, folks. LA, Reggie Jackson at the strike. Two shots. Two shots. That's on the first. And that one falls for Jackson. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. The Kings have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Left side herder. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. First one falls for him. Hits both from the stripe. Now here's Wall. Pass to Coffee. Jackson outside. Back to Coffee. To the inside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. This guy has never Second been afraid to foul. take the foul while finishing his shooting foul. motion. John Wall through contact. Yes, sir. John Wall taking two shots. Two. He misses the free throw. Here in the second half, they've really gone cold from the line, and it's hurting their chances. And some changes here for the Kings. Sabonis, he's checked in for Holmes. Barnes comes in for Davis. And Fox is subbed in for Mitchell. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. John Wall, of course, the number one pick back in 2010. Game is largely predicated on speed, the ability to get downhill, but boy, he has added strength to that incredibly long frame. He has been a force to be reckoned with. Now Wall. Pass to Coffee. Outside Wall. Inside, Jackson. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Give John Wall Wall's got his fourth assist with that last one. Fox, the pass to Herter. Back to Fox. All sorts of time. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Jackson outside. Here's Coffee. He's guarded by Barnes. Herder against Jackson. Here's Morris. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Here's Wall. Pass to Morris. 
And the layup is good. Marcus, and their offensive game plan Marcus. is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Fox, the pass to Herter. Back to Fox. Lots of room. Again, the King score. A versatile offensive weapon. Fox is good at sizing up defenses and taking what they give up. Jackson outside. Pass to Coffee. And De'Aaron Fox foul. picks up the foul. De'Aaron Fox. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third Monk, he's checked foul. in for the Kings. Third team foul. King substitution, Malik Monk. Pass to Coffee. Jackson outside. Six to shoot. Now here's Morris. From deep three-point range. The Clippers rebound. Wall, he's open. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. Fox, the pass to Barnes. Back to Fox. Pass to Sabonis. The Clippers grab the miss. And it's time for an injury report. Thanks, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for the Clippers. He shared with me that it is a knee sprain. So a sense of relief that even though there's a lot of pain involved, he avoided something more serious. There will be no return to the floor tonight, and it sounds like recovery period is going to last a little longer than they were hoping for. Guys? Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for oh, similar injuries. The Kings have gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Outside Barnes. Fox with the ball. Sabonis outside. No good from outside. Los Angeles has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Here's Coffey. He's guarded by Barnes. Morris passes to Jackson. Shoots over Monk. They get it back. Here's Zubats. Laid it in with a nice Easy touch off the window. <laughs> Collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Outside Monk. And here's Barnes. Fox right side. From downtown. It's rebounded by Zubats. Excellent job of closing out on that three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Barnes passes to Fox. Looking to win the drought, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's so hard to guard Fox without fouling him, especially when he's being the aggressor. De'Aaron Fox at the line for two. Free throws good for Fox. Both good from the line that time. Now here's Wall. Jackson outside. Wall to pass to Morris. Fires from deep. Man, the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got five assists tonight. You have now got to respect the three-point shooting ability of Marcus Morris. He understands now he's got to take that shot. Offensive board. Murray passes to Fox. Now Barnes. Pass to Fox. 
Shot clock at five. And he lobs it up to the rim. Zubac with the steal. Jackson against Monk. Takes a 13-footer. Deflects the pass. From outside the arc. Jackson can't get it to go. Sacramento has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Barnes with it. Guarded now by Morse. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Well, this is the scoring potential that Barnes has, really putting it all together tonight. Here's Wall. Pass to Coffey. This one for three. He drops it from range. Coffee. Coffey's got 12 points here in the second half. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up and a strong showing for the Kings. They made the most of their opportunities at the line. And they did a great job of forcing the action to create those opportunities. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Puts it up from 17. That shot missing. Sabonis outside. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Ivica Zubats. Well, to me, the size of Sabonis creates problems for the defense. You cannot be careless in how you guard this guy. At the line for the Kings, Domatis Sabonis. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. You know what? There, there seems to me to be an infectious energy when we're talking about Domantas Sabonis. This is a big man with a great future in the NBA. That one misses. I hate to say it but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. Fox against Powell. Now Fox. So the Kings win it. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with DeMontis. DeMontis, a great team win against a quality opponent, too. What does this say about how you're playing? It's great for us, building our confidence as a team. Um, sticking together, I feel like we play better consistently, so um, it's, it's good for us. Confidence, extremely important. Thanks, DeMontis.